At the conclusion of Battlestar Galactica's incredible New Caprica arc, Commander Leah Dahmer of the Battlestar Pegasus sacrifices his vessel in a visually stunning sequence to save his father and the Galactica from certain destruction. While this decision certainly made for exciting storytelling, it doesn't stand up to much scrutiny from a dispassionate tactical standpoint, and I'd like to lay out a number of ways in which I think the Colonials could have handled the situation better. Before the rescue mission to New Caprica, Admiral Adama formulates a plan that represents a fairly safe bet under the circumstances. He recognises that the odds are not in their favour, and it's likely that the Galactica may not survive the operation. With this in mind, he launches the rescue using only the Galactica, and orders his son Lee to keep the Pegasus in a defensive posture around the civilian fleet for 18 hours, before continuing the journey to Earth if the Galactica does not return. This is an extremely pragmatic decision, as the Pegasus is by far the greater asset to humanity in its current condition. The ship is capable of constructing vipers and other utilities using mined ore, can safely train combat pilots using VR simulators, and boasts far more firepower and versatility than the Galactica. The Mercury class is essentially the perfect vessel for maintaining an isolated fleet in deep space, and sending the ship on a dangerous mission to New Caprica could be seen as an unacceptable risk. In the show, Leodama disregards these orders, and enters into an engagement which saves the battered Galactica, but results in the loss of the far more valuable Pegasus. Shortly before its destruction, we see how effective a surprise attack from the Battlestar Pegasus can be, as she appears on the flank of a Cylon base star and cuts the enemy ship down in short order. After this initial success, Lee entirely fails to maintain the momentum of his attack on the enemy fleet, seemingly having entered the battle with the full intention of sacrificing his vessel. The Pegasus suffers significant damage as it strays into dangerously close range, and the Battlestar's FTL drive is quickly disabled. This is largely due to a decision by Lee to leave his ships in entire fighter complement behind to protect the civilian fleet. This seems like a drastic overcompensation to protect civilian vessels that have remained hidden in the same nebula for several months until now, and if the Cylons were to discover the civilian fleet, it wouldn't be long before a base star was deployed, and no amount of vipers could inflict any meaningful damage on a ship that large before it eliminated all of the civilian vessels. With this in mind, Lee should have brought at least the majority of his fighters with him to New Caprica, and used them to protect his vessel and the Galactica from subsystem damage as he engaged the Cylons from longer range. A delaying strategy like this may have allowed enough time for the Galactica to restore her FTL drive, and for both ships to effect a fighting retreat. The Battle of New Caprica represents perhaps the most high-stakes engagement of the Second Cylon War, and a logical time to employ the Colonial Fleet's limited supply of nuclear warheads. Early in the battle, we see Swallow drones used to create false Dradus images of the Battlestar's Galactica and Pegasus, a distraction which helps keep the Cylons occupied for several minutes. This opportunity could have been used to jump an assault force of nuclear-armed raptors on the Cylons' flank. This mission would be difficult and likely suicidal, but it would represent far more acceptable losses than the destruction of either Battlestar. During the episode, we discover that the two base stars orbiting New Caprica do not represent the full extent of the enemy force, and that the Cylons had in fact kept a pair of additional base stars in reserve to be deployed at a moment's notice. The upshot of this is that a Raptor assault like the one described here could only destroy half of the full Cylon fleet, but it would leave the Galactica and Pegasus with only two base stars to destroy, a feat we've seen them accomplish with relative ease during the Battle of the Resurrection Ship. The Adama Maneuver is easily one of the most visually impressive and innovative sequences in sci-fi history, but it represents a dangerous application of resources in a desperate situation. The Vipers deployed by the Galactica to assist the New Caprica resistance are crucial in destroying the watchtowers and gates necessary for the Rebels to escape, but such a task could easily have been completed by assault raptors deployed via FTL jump. This would prevent the Galactica from suffering the lasting damage that it received during the descent, and free up her fighter squadrons to take part in the orbital battle. It should also be noted that raptors are able to perform VTOL landings on a planet's surface, allowing them to deploy marines or assist in the civilian evacuation efforts after completing their attack, an advantage that could not be provided by a wing of vipers.
As we see with the Demetrius in Season 4, a civilian ship that is performing very few important duties in the fleet can be transformed into a valuable military asset with only a small refit and crew transfer. Some ships in the fleet at this time, such as the liner Adriatic, are known to carry guided missiles, and some even appear to be converted ex-military vessels. Even without properly engaging the enemy, these ships could provide valuable distractions at crucial moments, or even be weaponized as unmanned kamikaze vessels. Any losses suffered would again be far more manageable than the destruction of a battle star. As previously stated, the sacrifice of the Battlestar Pegasus added a dramatic and believable character moment to the show, but it does provide unquestionable evidence that while Leodama may indeed be a good person, he is far from a good commander. As BSG and many other stories have taught us time and again, the role of a warship commander is not one that can be filled by most people. Such a person must be able to act dispassionately in any situation, and possess the strength of character necessary to make emotionally devastating decisions for the greater good. Had the roles of William and Leah Dharma been reversed in the Battle of New Caprica, I don't believe the Admiral would have returned to rescue his son. It would no doubt have been an unimaginably painful decision, but Adama would be keenly aware that it was the only appropriate choice. Imagine the civilian casualties that might have been avoided at the later battles of the Ionian Nebula and the Colony had the Pegasus remained in place of the Galactica. These kinds of long-term advantages are the reason the Admiral set out to conduct the rescue alone in the first place, fully demonstrating the boundlessly impressive leadership qualities that Adama displayed plays throughout his entire story. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.